This video is a short tutorial for carrying out teacher self-assessment on Teams. Before we begin with the tutorial, let us first discuss about Teams or Teacher Information Management System. Teams is a central web application which is essentially an electronic database that holds various information about teachers. Teams was launched by the Department of Education Government of Miglaya. It is basically a comprehensive portal designed to capture all information about teachers working in the state of Miglaya, including those in government or government aided schools, teachers and SSA schools, at the primary, upper primary, secondary and high secondary schools and also teachers in colleges across the state. So the purpose of TIMS is to increase the operational efficiency and utility providing administrators with accurate and up-to-date information on teachers to ease and facilitate speed up the processing time for all teacher-related activities and decision-making process. And one of the important activities of school teachers is to carry out a fundamental reflective exercise called self-assessment. The goal of this exercise is to facilitate their professional growth and development while also allowing the department to analyze and identify areas in which teachers need the most support in terms of training and capacity building. In relation to this, a program of teacher self-assessment was launched in the state during 2021 and it is titled as Teacher Self-Assessment Program or TSAP. TSAP should be carried out once in an academic year, preferably at the end of the first quarter. So TSAP is a program of teacher self-assessment that uses a comprehensive tool developed by NCRT and is entitled as Teacher Self-Assessment Rubrics. The TSAR tool serves as a guide for teachers to self-assess themselves and reflect on their daily teaching practices as well as on their role as a teacher. All teachers of government and government-aided schools are required to participate in the TSAM and complete the self-assessment process on TIMS portal. For teachers who have not registered with TIMS, they can complete the self-assessment in the prescribed format and submit it in hard copy to the block and cluster coordinators for elementary teachers and to diets for secondary and high secondary teachers. To learn more about TSAM and the SAR tool, as well as other related procedures, schools and teachers can acquire the materials from the designated nodal officers of TSAM who will get in touch with them regarding this program. Let us now begin with the tutorial on how to access TEMS and also how to undertake the self-assessment process on the portal. Open any web browser and you can directly type the web address of TIMS, magtims.gov.m and press enter. This will take you to the home page of TIMS. The home page contains some information about TIMS. And on the right side, there is an option to access your account using the credentials, your username and the password. Before you access your account, 
you may also check out other contents that are available on the home page. On the left side, you will see the important links section under which there are certain documents that you can access. One in particular that is relevant to the TSAP program is the guidelines and the rubrics for teacher self-assessment. Click on the link and download the document. You may also navigate down and check out the frequently asked questions or FAQs, which has some of the important questions and answers about TIMS and also about the teacher evaluation or the teacher self-evaluation. Please note that in the context of TSAB, the term self-evaluation and self-assessment is one and the same thing and they are often used interchangeably by different stakeholders. If you are prepared and ready to undertake the self-assessment, start by logging in to your account using your credentials. If you have not acquired a username or password, please inform your school principal to get in touch with the TIM support executive at the office of the DSEO of your district. The official will guide you through the process. If you already have the credential, go to the right side of the home page mm -hmm. and enter your username and also password and press the login button. This will take you to the teacher profile. You will find in the left side a menu having various options. At the top you will find the user manual and you will find the profile picture, personal details, educational details, training details, employment details and so on and so forth. To complete the self-assessment, a teacher must select the self-evaluation tab under which there is a sub-tab titled Start Evaluation. Click on it. At the top of the page, there is a section to select the financial year. Click the section and a drop-down menu will appear. Select Financial Year 2023-24. Now please note that this is not seen in this tutorial. That is, the financial year 2023-24 is not seen in this tutorial as the year is not activated for the tutorial purpose. But it will appear when you log in with your own account. The rest of the page contains all the six performance standards of the ZAR document in which the teacher will need to fill to complete the self-assessment process. The first performance standard is the designing learning experience for children. The first performance standard is the designing learning experiences for children. The second is knowledge and understanding of the subject matter. The third performance standard, strategies for facilitating learning. The fourth is the interpersonal relationship. The fifth performance standard is the professional development aspect. And lastly, we have the sixth performance standard, which is the school development. Each performance standard has four columns. The first contains the list of indicators. In the second column is the self-rating section. The self-rating column has a drop-down list against each indicator which must be filled out by the individual teacher. Each indicator is rated on a 4-point scale rating from 1 to 4, indicating the levels of performance. 
depending on the performance level, a teacher can choose any of the following values for each of the indicator, either one or two or three or four. The reviewer's rating column is meant for the school or head of school, and a teacher can skip and ignore this section. If, however, the school wish to review the individual teacher's rating, they can fill this section accordingly with the recommendation from school level committee. Similarly, the self rating should be completed for all the performance standards and indicators. After completion, a teacher is advised to recheck the ratings before clicking on the Submit button. The Submit button is located at the bottom of the page. Once you have completed and rechecked your entries, click on the Submit button to complete the submission. Please note, however, that once the Submit button is clicked, the self-assessment report cannot be edited or changed further. To view the final report, go to the main menu and find the sub-menu titled Performance Report, which is located under the self-evaluation option. On the Performance Report section, there are three different options. First is the View Performance, which you can click and view your report. The second is the download report, which you can download your report by clicking on it. And the third is the share feedback. Now this option is important. It is part of the format prescribed under the ZAR of NCRT and a teacher is required to fill this portion and complete this as well. Once the necessary information is filled, click on the submit button and this completes the self-evaluation process. Thank you.